Desde chico, women have always been my friends. Maybe the fact that I was gay had everything to do with it. Maybe it was the fact that men had mostly nothing positive to do with who I am today. My masculinity has been greatly shaped by the mujeres in mi vida. To date, I can only think of two men who have had a positive influence in my life, and ain't that the saddest line ever? Ain't it as old as mythologies? Stories we know too well, characters sitting right at home or inside ourselves. I cannot remember a time where men were hella emotionally available and shit. Same can be said about any gender, but I only talk about what I know, and what I know is I have more personal male friends exposed to be sexually assaultive than I care to remind myself of. I know so many men unable to talk to a gay dude about gay sex without worrying that somehow he'll be the least bit associated in being interested in gay sex. <laughs> Most men fear hugging other men except for me in public because it's socially acceptable to hug your gay guy friend, but not your straight guy friend, especially a real, mean something kind of hug. And ain't that how it's always been? And ain't that the stupidest justification? Because I'm crazy that most of us know it depends on how we raise our boys, what we give them permission to be, how we show them to sit and stand, some of them squaring up, taking up space, or some of them taking up space, squaring up to no one. Manspreading, a word that needed to be made to explain the phenomenon that men must spread themselves as if proving a damn thing. Like this is comfort, but masculinity. Or when we explain an already explained thing, mansplaining, another needed word, a phenomenon I see at home, with just me, between myself and my sister, me and my friends, I who deign to believe I am a feminist too, cannot escape a culture as slick as our ego, cause nothing can touch a man who think ain't him, Ain't an ego thicker than not me, or the amazing not all guys kind of guys. Cause taking criticism undefended isn't masculine. Admitting to a pattern isn't masculine. Believing cycles exist is vulnerability, and we never told men they're permitted to feel that. Especially in public. Especially unashamed. Why do you think I hang out with my tias instead? I am tired of the silent aburrido man circle. Conversaciones sin sabor. Platicadas con solo sal. I am a man sweet like starfruit. Discovered after a journey through my masculinity, made by the women who showed me, femininity is the power when, mascul when masculinity eventually fails. My father worked pulling the sun up the mountain for sunrise, and the night shifts pulling the sun for moonset, and, even, and is relearning to this day to ask for help when he needs it, to express emotions in a healthy way. We just started hugging for real a few years ago, and saying I love you no longer feels weird. We actually love it. Even he, creado en el rancho con maíz, learned that the past fathers weren't the best teachers that the belt wasn't a lesson on discipline, but survival and later forgiveness. To be strong and never weak pump men on a trail of two paths, why do you think we get set off course so easily? Because no human was meant to be restricted to lanes. We are nomads by nature. Cultivating my masculinity over time, I've learned you need my consent to make me feel less than a man, and you ain't never getting that. My masculinity can go por sole and cambiar aceite. My masculinity flies and swims, thinks and fights, learns and builds, my femininity is damn near masculine. My masculinity is damn near feminine. Most days, it's both, because I gave myself permission to. That's why most guys can't speak this honestly, unless he figures out that he has to be strong enough to give himself permission to be this honest in his life, if he considers him himself a true man, if he wants to set himself free. Thank you.